Thanks, Jess. Appreciate it, buddy. We are very disappointed on this point that um, still China has not uh, accepted our invitation to send our CDC experts over with the World Health Organization people. I mean, I, I, in this room, I guess two weeks ago, I announced that we were sending our smartest people over because that's what came out of the Oval Office meeting. Uh, with the Secretary Azar and the President and so forth, turns out they never passed it. We still haven't gotten to go in there. And I think some of the experts in the, our public health team are quite disappointed. We thought there was better transparency coming out of China, but it doesn't appear to be. I know they revised their, their numbers up a bit. They say it's a different method of counting. We, we just don't know. It's the great unknown. And I, I, I wish we did know more because you know, this should not be about politics or, for that matter, trade. This is just plain, ordinary health, public health, health people. The, the virus is contained in the United States. We don't know if it's contained in China. We thought they were tailing off in their headcount. It turns out that might, might not be the case. So I, we, I, we are engaging with China. The president's engaging with President Xi. We have a very good trade deal with them and so forth. But on this particular matter, we are quite disappointed in China's response. Yeah, and what about the accuracy of the information coming out of China? What are your concerns about that? And could that contribute to uncertainty in the economy? Well, there's no question it's uncertainty in the economy. I, I just think, again, uh, because it's so well contained here, that we, we will feel some of the uh, problems over in China, but it, it's still quite minimal, a couple tenths of one percent. Uh, that's our estimate. Most private economists agree with that point of view. But nonetheless, you know, it's, it's just not about these GDP numbers. It's about what's happening to the health of the Chinese people and um, is the Politburo really being honest with us? And we would prefer, we, we thought there was going to be more transparency, but we're a bit disappointed. So we'll see how that works. <laughs> well, the, this was uh, going back a week ago. Yeah. And they had good phone call together, very good phone call. And President Xi assured President Trump that um, China was on it and that there would be openness, they would accept our help, and that the, uh, some of the uh, export targets in phase one might be delayed a bit, but would be met. Uh, so that was the, that, and so the president tweeted that out, and we are engaged with China. The president has said U.S. relations with China have probably never been better. And so that relationship is in fine shape. All I'm saying is, in response to your question, uh, we're a little disappointed that we haven't been invited in, and we're a little disappointed uh, in the <sighs> lack of transparency coming from the Chinese. You know, these numbers are jumping around, and there may be good reasons for that. I'm not an expert in public health, uh, uh, either here or there. Uh, but there was some surprise. Now, I. Uh, another one on coronavirus. So, when the president said uh, previously that warmer weather might stop the transmission, is that something he was told by President Xi or something yes. that yes. President Xi told him that? Yes. Okay. As far as I know, yes. Others have said that, by the way. Professionals in that business have said that. I, I, I don't know if it's true. Is it true? I hope it's true. It's happened in the past. But, you know, don't quote me authoritatively. I'm just, I'm just saying that transpired in the conversation. Uh, that's all I know. Still connected. Well, I'm still connected.